today we will learn about the types of asexual reproduction we know that some organisms produce the next generation from single parents like amoeba hydra etc the reproduction in which only one parent participates is called asexual reproduction variety of asexual reproduction is found in different organisms on the basis of it there are different types of asexual reproduction today let's learn about the types of asexual reproduction fission some organisms produce new organisms by cell division we call this method fission amoeba is a unicellular organism in amoeba reproduction begins with the division of the nucleus when division of the nucleus is complete the cells also divide into two parts this division can occur from any part of the amoeba during the division process each cell carries one nucleus with them in this way the formation of two cells by the division of one cell is called binary fission some unicellular organisms such as leishmania's body structure is more organized in such organisms after the division of the nucleus the cell divides from a fixed orientation in some organisms such as the malaria parasite plasmodium one cell divides in several cells we call it multiple fission fragmentation some multicellular organisms such as pyrogyra which is an algae have simple body structure generally such organisms are just group of different cells when they are fully grown they break into small pieces each part or fragment develops into a new organism this method of reproduction is called fragmentation body structures of other multicellular organisms are complex in such cases there is formation of tissue from cells and formation of organs from tissues the location of organs is fixed in the body due to which cell by cell division of these organisms is not possible therefore fragmentation is not seen in such organisms in such organisms we see a complex process of reproduction you must have seen that lizards separate their tail from body under adverse circumstances later the lizard regenerates its tail again similarly in the method of regeneration if some organisms like planaria cut down into different parts each part develops into new planaria This method of reproduction can also be seen in hydra. Budding. Some organisms such as hydra have cells with regenerative potential. When the hydra is fully grown, the regenerative cells divide by creating a bulge that is a bud on the body wall. This bud develops into small hydra upon sufficient growth these organisms separate from parent hydra and become independent organisms in favorable circumstances some plants can be grown from their part like root stem leaves or buds this is called as vegetative propagation for example carrot radish sweet potato 
etc can be grown from the root of the plant rose ginger etc from the stem of plants bryophyllum can be produced from the leaves of the plants sugarcane and various types of grasses can be produced from buds vegetative propagation can be used in agriculture for the production of grapes bananas oranges jasmine sugarcane etc for this techniques like layering grafting etc can be used the method in which a portion of an above ground stem is buried in the soil so as to grow a new plant attached to the parent plant is called layering similarly the method of joining the parts of two different plants so as to grow a new plant is called grafting collect information about them yourself flowers and fruits can be obtained in less time from plants grown by such technology than from plants grown by seeds spore formation if you take a piece of bread and soak it in water and keep it in a moist and dark place then within one or two days you will see some thread like structures developing on it it is a hyphae of rhizopus if you observe the vertical fibers with a microscope then you will be able to see a blob on a stick structures on it these structures are called sporangia special cells are found in these structures which are called spores a thick wall protects the spores under favorable conditions this wall breaks and spores get spread at appropriate temperatures and humidity these spores begin to grow and form new fungus this method of reproduction is known as spore formation now you must have understood various methods of asexual reproduction today we have learned the types of asexual reproduction